popo. And I chose to be that number one contender, southern offender, fucking up your whole agenda. Up from the 36 chambers, <laughs> it's the goose. What up, yo? It's your boy, yo, on Slaw Tree. We back with another episode of 16 Bars for you. Yo, we got another amazing episode for you. We going down south this week, man. Y'all already heard the intro, but y'all know how we always start each and every episode. If you haven't subscribed to 16 Bars yet, go on down, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the bell notifications to get notified. Don't forget, if you like these videos, give these videos a thumbs up. All right, let's get right into it, man. Ludacris is back. This is not the real copy of the album, all right? This week, we're going with Ludacris. This is Ludacris' second studio album. This album is called Back for the First Time. This was released on October the 17th, 2000, yo. And this album is right on the hour mark. This is 56 minutes and 36 seconds, all right? So, y'all just heard the intro. That is actually the first track off of the album. That track is got, uh, called um, You Got a Problem. Ludacris opens the album up with bars, yo. Open it up, went right in, jump right into it, man. But we're going to jump into um, track number four. Track number four is called What's Your Fantasy? We're going to give you all a verse off of this, man. Ludacris went bonkers. Ludacris' flow, Ludacris' flow on this track right here is crazy. I might mess it up, but my apologies, yo. Ludacris, verse one. I want to get you in the Georgia Dome. On the 50 yard line, while the dirty birds kick the tree, the three, 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 dirty birds, football team, Atlanta Falcons. Let's go back to it. I want to get you in the Georgia Dome on the 50 yard line, while the dirty birds kick the three. And if you like it in the club, we can do it in the DJ boot or in the back of the VIP. Whipped cream and cherries and strawberries on top, lick it, don't stop. Keep the door locked. Don't knock while the boat rock. Woo. Wordplay. We go buy some robots. So they got to wait till the show stop. Or how about on the beach with black sand? Lick up your thighs, then call me the Pac-Man. Tabletop or just give me a lap dance. The rock to the park to the point of the flat lands. Woo. Wordplay. Listen, <laughs> I'm tearing up Ludacris' wordplay, yo, but I got to give this track to y'all. This track is called What's Your Fantasy? Ludacris' wordplay on this is crazy. Let's go. I'm going to get you in the Georgia Dome on a 50-yard line while the dirty birds kick the tree. And if you like it in the club, we can do it in the DJ booth or in the back of the VIP. <laughs> in the public bathroom or in the back of the classroom. However you want it, love a lover going to tap that ass. I let them free and they tell me what's they fantasy Like up on the roof, roof Tell your boyfriend not to be mad at me <laughs> You make it so good, I don't want to leave But I gotta know what, what's your fantasy I told y'all, man. I told y'all. My bad, yo. I told them lyrics up. Ludacris was killing that track. Um, This is Ludacris' first album on his record label, uh, Disturbing the Peace. All right, so yes, he released his first album, this album was also under the umbrella of Death Jam South, but this was actually the first uh, album on his record label, uh, Disturbing the Peace. This album had three singles on there. There was What's Your Fantasy, Southern Hospitality, and Hold. So those are the three, um, the three singles on this album. We're going to jump into one of the skits off of the album, yo. This skit is funny as hell. Check this out right here. Girl, we might as well see what's up with these niggas. Hello? Hello. Yeah, what's Oh, I don't come through or not. Yeah, we coming through there. All right, that's so bad. Let me go and tell you how to get here. You ready? Yeah. Okay, you go. Yeah. Yeah, okay, you go. 85 South. Okay. You're going to get off on Old National Highway. Uh -huh. And make a left. And make a right on crib. Okay. And you're just going to keep coming down. You're going to see this big-ass white mansion on the right-hand side. It's over all black. Oh. Hell yeah. Shit, we like right next door and shit in this HUD house, man. Yeah. Um, you're going to have to climb through the window. Is that cool? What the fuck? Hell no, nigga. Oh, man. Yo, listen. Let's go into some sales numbers on this album, man. So, yo. First week sales. First week sales, Ludacris' second studio album. Woo. Ludacris moved some numbers, yo. 
We're going to move some numbers. First week sales. Back for the first time did 133,000 copies on the first week. Amazing sales. Billboard 200. All right. When this album hit the Billboard 200, it actually peaked as high as number four. So amazing first week sales numbers. And he topped it off going up number four on the Billboard 200 charts. All right. So shout out to Luda on that. We're going to move into the next track we're going to talk about, y'all. This is track number eight. Again, Luda started off the album just spitting crazy bars, man. This right here, again, tones the beat down. He puts the production down just a slight bit, and he gives you that verse. So, yo, check this one out. This one is called Mountain Off, yo. Let's go. I make I niggas eat dirt and fart dust. They give you an $80 gift certificate to pussies are rust. I eat a nuts or a Mac with no slut. Give me a full body massage, I still can't be touched. They call me Seymour Butt. Cause I get more the leader cause I'm meaner than Abdullah Ablamgada. My tribe's on more quests than Midnight Marauders. It's all me. I hunt more than llamas, get rolled more than tires. If you say I'm not nice, then use a motherfucking liar. Entitled to and off. And this album has already sold way over three million copies to date yo all right so to this date this album has pushed over three million copies shout out for luda for that we gonna move into track number 11 track number 11 is a banger i gotta give y'all the first verse off of this track number 11 is called ho i'm gonna give y'all the verse off of this track 11 verse 1 luda goes yo you're doing whole activities with whole tendencies Holes are your friends, holes are your enemies. With whole energy to do what you do, blue what you blue, screw what you screw. Y'all professional like DJ Clue. Woo. That's a bar. That's a bar. I got to bring that back. With whole energy to do what you do, blue what you blue, screw what you screw. Y'all professional like DJ Clue pulling on your coattail. And what you think you take a hoe to a hoe? <laughs> blue what you blue, screw what you screw. Y'all professional like DJ Clue pulling on the coattail. And why do you think you take a hoe to a hotel? Hotel everybody, even the mayor. Reach up in the sky for the whole zone layer. <laughs> Track number 11, banger. Ho, let's go. Y'all professional like DJ Clue pulling on my coattail. And why do you think you take a hoe to a hotel? Oh, come on, player, want the hoe always. And hoes never close, they open like hallways. Oh, use the hoe. I said that you the hoe. has always been one of those artists where Yes, on one end of the spectrum, Luda got bars. Luda can spit. He got flow. He picked some pretty good, uh, decent beats. But he's very funny. He reminds me a little bit of Redman. He has a lot of comedy in his verses and his words. That what makes him kind of original to me. So shout out to that track. Uh, that track is called Ho. There's, there's another track on there I really, really loved um, coming up at the end of the album. It was actually a remix. And it also includes um, Foxy, Trina, and uh, Shauna and the way they were going on that track one of my favorite tracks on the album well we're gonna jump into track number four <sighs> Luda saved one of the best tracks for the end of this album yo all right this is track number 14 remember the album has 15 tracks on there so this is the second to last track this is called Southern Hospitality I'm gonna give you all the verse off of this track 14 Ludacris goes yo Cadillac grills, Cadillac mills. Check out the oil my Cadillac spills. Matter of fact, candy paid Cadillac kills. So check out the holes my Cadillac fills. 20 inch wide, 20 inch high. Ho, don't you like my 20 inch ride? 20 inch thighs make 20 inch eyes. Hoping for American 20 inch pies. Pretty ass clothes, pretty ass toes. Oh, how I like those pretty ass hoes. Pretty ass, high class, anything goes. Catch them in the club, throwing pretty ass bows. Long John drawers, long John stalls. 
any stink puss make my long john pause Ooh. woman on their cell making long john calls and if they like to juggle give them long john all my players in there let's go man yo track number 14 southern hospitality ludicrous let's go Make 20 inch eyes, hoping for American 20 inch pie. Pretty ass, pretty ass, high class, anything goes. Catch them in the club throwing pretty ass bows. Long jumping on they still making long time calls. And if they like to juggle, get long time's ball. If you a pimp and you know you don't love them hoes when you get on the floor. And that track is also produced by the Neptunes, yo. So shout out to Pharrell and the Neptunes, Chad. That was an ill production right there. That's it, man. Track number 15, like I said, is a remix to What's Your Fantasy. Uh, and that that had Trina on there, Shauna, and Foxy Brown was on that track, yo. So they close out the album with a remix. We're going to move into Rating of the Bars. Let's go. Ah, right, y'all. So listen, man. Listening to this album again. It's a lot of fun to listen to. Ludacris really entertained me on this album. It may not be an album that I can play all the way through. Like I said, there's a lot of skits on this album. There's some pretty funny skits on there too. But I had a lot of fun with this album. There's some stuff on there that made me laugh, made me dance, just entertaining. The, the bars, top-notch bars. Um, there's tons of features on this album. Pastor Troy made the album. UGK. Uh, made the album, like I said earlier, Foxy Brown's on there, Trina's on there, and the regular guys from his crew, I-20 was on there, and Shauna made the album too, so a lot of features on there. I was kind of surprised that on his second album, he had that much, that many features on there, but again, it is what it is. Um, Top Notch Bars, he really spit on this album. He started off the album just, just with a crazy verse, and he kept it through all the way through the album. Um, he really delivered on the bars. The skits could have dropped maybe one or two skits off the album, um, shortened it up just a little bit. The album was only 56 minutes, so without those skits, it could have been a you know 52, 53. Uh, but not bad. Um, overall, overall, pretty decent album from Ludacris. I'm gonna give this album a three out of five. Yo, that's it. Three out of five. We're going to move into Bars of the Titans. Let's go. Whew. This week, Bars of the Titans are the heavy heart. This week's Bars of the Titans features Fat Joe. But the verse we're going to play for you is from Big L. Rest in peace. This track is called The Enemy. This track right here, like, it just always brings you back. Same thing with Pac, same thing with Biggie, Big Pun, guys like that. The potential that these artists had before they passed away was just, the sky was the limit. So I'm going to give you all first one off of this track. This track is called The Enemy. This is off that boy, Big L. Big L goes, yo, I drive up and down Harlem blocks. I stout watch, knots in my socks. Cops think I'm selling rocks, pulling me over to see if I'm drunk, but I'm sober. They wouldn't fuck with me if I drove a Nova. Listen, Colombo, you're mad because your money comes slow. And what you make in one year, I'm making one show. Now you want to frisk me and search my ride. Call me all kinds of names, try to hurt my pride. You're just mad because I'm a young cat's pockets dumb fat. Talking about where the gun at. I've been there and done that. I'm through with that illegal life. I'm staying legit. I love to see car I love to see cars cruising by playing my shit. Yo, I love that line, yo. Oh man. That that line brings me back to the 90s. Going down Jamaica Avenue, just hearing cars bumping big L, bumping Biggie, bumping pun. Bumping this to the speakers, man. I love that line right there. Heavy heart, but still, rest in peace, Big L. This track is called The Enemy, featuring Fat Joe. This is Bars of the Titans. I'm going to see y'all next week, y'all. Peace. I drive up and down Harlem blocks. I style watch.
socks, knots in my socks. Cops think I'm selling rocks. <laughs> if I go over and over, listen, Columbo. You mad because your money comes slow? And what you make in a year? I make it one show. <laughs> you know mad because I'm a young cat. Pockets dumb fat. Talking about where the gun at. I've been there and done that. I love to see cars come cruising by playing my shit. I walk around with six down without a pistol. My whole clicks sweat. I'm going to do tours. So get that flashlight out of my face. To bring me down. Them takes to do whatever it takes. I'm there to see a young brother. Pockets get thick. Hey, yo, enough's enough. Try to rock.